Welcome to DBL. After locating two different debris fields near the wreckage of the Titanic yesterday, the U.S. Coast Guard revealed that the missing submersible, the Titan, most likely experienced a catastrophic implosion during its descent on Sunday. A remote-controlled vehicle discovered the debris fields just 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic. Five major pieces from the Titan were found, including the front end of the pressure hole as well as the tail cone. All five men on board are now presumed dead. We're also learning that the U.S. Navy, using a secret network of underwater sensors, detected the sound of a possible implosion just as all communications failed. They said the information was shared with the Coast Guard. So today there are still questions, including whether or not the company that operated the sub, Ocean Gate, can be held liable. And who is responsible for paying for this massive search and rescue operation? And Tori, you have some additional details as well. Am I right or we're gonna wait to get to Yeah, that? well I have one. I just okay. wanna let you know about the implosion. And yes. this is good news in, in the weirdest way. Um, they didn't suffer. This is what happens. A former Navy doctor specializing in undersea medicine said, it would have been so sudden, there wouldn't have been known that there was even a problem or what was happening to them. If you're, it's like being here one minute and the switch is turned off. And I read somewhere else, it's quicker than a blink. So I'm just grateful that there wasn't this prolonged sense of doom that we were all worried about mm. um, in, in the saddest way possible. It ended the best way it possibly could. Looking back now, and uh, obviously this is a tragedy and uh, a, a lot of people are mourning, who is responsible? Is anyone responsible if you signed this massive waiver? What would you say, Jeff? I, it's tough because we talk about, you know, even in prenups, like this is ironclad, but there's still wiggle room around there. I would say if they're pointing fingers at anybody, it's the guy who built it, the CEO, right? I would think he's responsible. But if he, if he made them sign a contract and now you're going to go after his family for what money, he's not one of the billionaires, by the way, just to point out. But if you're going to go after his family, that's not fair to the family either. I mean, I, I, I don't know. If you're going to blame somebody, it would be that guy, but he's unfortunately passed away. And let me just add, just to speak on the waiver, it said the experimental submersible vessel has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and may be constructed of materials that have not been widely used in human-occupied submersibles. They mentioned death three times on the first page. So it so was written If you there. sign that, how could right. you sue again after? I don't understand how the legal system works. I, that's Even in prenups in this situation, if you sign a document saying this, how do you break that contract then? Well, also, it opens up the conversation about insurance because what insurance company would underwrite something like this right. knowing that you are essentially signing up for imminent danger? I mean, insurance companies aren't even insuring houses in California hardly anymore. So mm -hmm. when you look at something like this, I, uh, it's just, it's tragic. It just seems like we're just trying to answer questions that should have been answered before they yeah. went down there. Mm. And I just don't understand how we're just living in this world where it's just afterwards we're like, well, who's going to fit the bill? Because anytime those questions start getting uh, floated, the answer is you, Sam, and you, Tori, Taxi Jeff, there, yeah. Erica. That's who's going to pay for it. That's who always ends up paying for it while uh, scientists and rich guys tinker around. And I'm not taking shots at the people that are gone. I'm just talking about what if it had gone down there and let out some kind of noxious gas and right. now we had to clean up some kind of toxic spill down there. W these are all things that you should, we should have had laid out right and this is what happens when it's experimental and when we start talking about signing things Jeff I know you, you've I've done a lot of crazy stuff on shows I've hosted I know you have too I didn't read those things no. I'm sure I think you mm. had to sign something to jump off of Rick's Cafe I didn't mm -hmm. everybody is seven drinks deep at that thing you think somebody's like going over with their lawyer like of course you but sign it's those things. I agree but I think another another element to add in here and I'm not saying this is what happened, but I do know when you talk to someone who may have a lot of hubris or, or are very confident and they have you sign a waiver. I know when I signed the waiver to go skydiving, I remember seeing all that fine print and being like, oh my gosh. And then I talked to my instructor and I said, how many jumps have you done? 300, I've never had an incident. And it gave me confidence. I'm just curious if there was any side conversations because of the confidence from the captain saying, don't worry. Did you have to sign a waiver for the uh, charity boxing event? Cause that was a serious. I don't know if I did. I could have, I mean. For I, sure you did. Yeah, okay, yes. probably did. Right, yeah. but in the fact did. that you don't even remember, right. kind of. For, I mean, you could. That was a serious fight. There was a broken nose, I believe, and that if you, if there, there was a no broken nose, <laughs> wasn't there a concussion? Or there something? was a, a, a mild. Well, you guys concuss. are throwing real punches. Yes. I'm trying to give you props. Yeah, You're arguing you. back. <laughs> <laughs> I just, 
<laughs> you, I mean, and I it's think, like if you had had a lifelong yes. brain injury, like the, right. you wouldn't have read. I don't know what was in that contract, and neither do you. So could you use don't that, do that when they're doing those Well, things. here I, I want to go back to what you okay. said, though, because you're talking about you know Thank all you, of y'all have had an opportunity to um, to do something where you're signing a waiver. Now myself, I don't do those things. <laughs> um, but the question then would become: Did when you asked that instructor how many jumps have you had, if he would have turned around to you and said, "Hey, Sam, I know you're really nervous about this, but I really want to encourage you to do this." And at, at, by the way, I'll give you 25 percent off the right. jump. Right. Right. Now we're talking about right. something completely right. different. Right. 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 Because right. Right. there right. was That's a bottom coercion. line right. to all of this, right. where they're enticing you to do something that could potentially put your life in jeopardy. Yes. And I'm curious if any of those conversations were had. Well, yeah, exactly.